Team Nygma versus Team Viking here in the Western Division of the DPC. Five position lines, so his mobility and his potential blink is going to certainly be delayed, but um, that's something he has to be carry oh, be worried about. Toby, Toby, do you know what's waiting for you around that corner? It seems like he didn't because he is going to be our first blood. Urshik was picked first here. Ooh, Miracle getting a little low. He's got a wand though. So Toby, I feel like he's so yeah. fine though, you know? Alright, Fisher does come through, but they'll chase down. Waning Rift will silence up the Ursa Bear, but he's really fast. Look at him, he just wants one more hit on Toby. Down he goes. We'll turn right back around again. This is not looking good for oh, Urshaker. Man. Miracle has five kills already at the six minutes. Mark. They had a chance to turn and kill Ursa, but now he's got Ring of Health, so it's like you're not even going to out-harass him. Here comes that gank with the Invis room for Lesh. I don't know There's about an option this here. Room. Can he do enough damage? All right, yes, they do finally pop the Ursa. Kuro getting chased down now by Boom. We'll get the Disable off. Huge. They need more of a rotation, though, as we joining back in. He'll jump forward, get the lasso, drag back. He's already got the lasso of the Firefly, though. Not Dragging bad. Boom underneath the tower, and there's a lot of Firefly damage throwing around. Can he get the final hit off here on Boom? He's actually still alive. <laughs> they need a little bit more damage. Down he goes. We just juking around here in the tree line. They cannot find him. There's so much fire everywhere. But eventually, Toby will finally get his revenge. Um, curiously, he actually maxed out Feast. Um, I, I haven't done this myself. Smoke's gonna break, though. Yeah, they found Mind Control. Drops down the blood, right? Managed to go and stun him up, though. And they've got plenty of damage here on the ground as they do some body blocks. Not gonna be able to quite land that split there. So he is gonna go down. GH is here. Doesn't have anything to cancel out those teleports, though. As they do allow the Lesh to run away. And uh, Shad is gonna join in here on the fight. GH does have to be a little bit careful. I don't believe he's got that Icarus dive. Over in the mid lane, though, there is a big dive there over onto Aramis. They'll find the kill on the Earthshaker, and we will collect himself a kill. This is actually funny. He's gonna have to buy a Quelling Blade to finish his battle through this game. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that before. Mid lane, Boom's taking a lot of damage. There's a lot of fire and sun and everything, what? Toasty, but they get the kill on Wii, and they're gonna have to chase down Boom. Mind Control, though, taking his own damage here. It's like he's going to be able to walk out. Like he went bottom to, I don't know, lane there a bit, but he just can't fight for a while until he gets at least one damage item, especially with the skill build. Slow right. down, I guess. Lost but... down, puff, silent stuff. It's going to be a lasso over on the back end. Beautiful egg coming out from GH2. As there's no one here to hit it. Aramis taking too much damage from the Firefly. He is going to go down. The egg pops over on the back lines, too, as the Oracle gets the save up over onto Boom. They need to try to find enough damage here to get this kill. The Sunray coming in, though, keeps them alive just a little bit longer. Now Mind Control will fall. Kuro also trying to run away as Boom's chasing them down. He's trying to find the angle on this line, but he's so slow, he's not able to quite find him. Toby throwing out the orb over on the side, still trying to find this vision. Waning Rift comes off, and they find the kill on Kuro. So Celery does get his kill on Kuro, but uh, they end up losing the tower. The nukes because it was going to accelerate his farm speed and stuff like that, but gets punished there for it. But at least he's going to be able to respawn and then try to make a uh, kill happen with his. Are they even going to go for this though? It feels like the side of Viking is just trying to push out the waves, and they don't seem like this, they know any ideas going on here. I don't, I don't, there's no way they can no. fight, surely, right? Like, they've got Blink on Puck, but they don't have a Blink on Urshaker yet. Urshaker's only level 7. So yeah, they could, like, run in and try to take an engagement with their opponents. They're going to have Vision, and everything would have gone bad. They have to be so careful here. Back to Bear jumping forward immediately, plus the egg. The save comes out from Celery. He's going to try to keep the Urshaker alive just a little bit longer, but the bounce back here. No one is hitting this egg. This is not going to be good. Down goes the egg. Or rather, it pops right open. They follow up oh. with the Dream Court. Look at all this damage just getting dumped down. Viking turning the game back around again as Mind Control goes down. Kuro trying to run away. Of course, Miracle, he's back up and kicking. The Echo Slam comes out, though. They'll be able to go get the stun. Boom is going to fall, but Toby here still poking. Can they get the kill on Wii? Yes, they will. And now it is just one little bear against the world. He's still going to be able to kill Aramis. And now it's a showdown here between Shad and the Miracle. Holy Shad be in the Chad. And no, Kuro. Kidding. I, I saw him fighting that Earth, and I was like, there's no way he's going to kill this guy. Whereas uh, Nygma's spread across the map pretty pretty safely. Um, and therefore, they're just farming better. Shad, they have the lasso up. Aramis getting ready, does have the fissure, but it's a little too late as they manage to go and grab the life steal, drag him back into the arms of everyone else here. He's taking a lot of damage. He's going to hunt to ride here over with Toby. The buyback's coming out immediately from Celery as he fell earlier. Hex comes out and... Looks like they're thinking about re-engaging. Look at Boom. He's just running in. I hear a Dream Coil over to the side. Manages to go and hold down the Ursa and the Bat Rider. The jump forward here. Shad just going to town over here onto Miracle. He is silent step, but on the back lines, Kuro will fall. Egg coming up over on the side. Buys them just a little bit more time at the Sunray. Trying to do some damage. Trying to heal them up. The Puck, though, going right forward again. Miracle trying to man fight here with this life steal. He's not going to be able to do it. Down he goes. Over on the side, GH is trying to use the Meteor Hammer. Trying to just slow them down, but doesn't look like he's going to be able to as they're still on the 
Hans Wee is flapping those little wings on his bat as fast as he can, or rather it's a little crow, but either way, Boom still really trying to get him, taking a lot of damage from the Firefly. I think they don't see anyone else on the side of Nygma on the map, so they're... Yes. We getting ready, sees Boom. That's going to be his big target if he can get over there. Knock back here. Miracle Dip forth. The waning rip, though, coming out from Toby. He's going to get stuck over here on the side. Man, just get the Dream Coil off, though. Now this Lashrek, he's ravaged. Oh, they get the save off, though, from Celery. They need to just give him enough healing to keep him alive long enough. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do it as they go, and they find the kill on Celery. Boom, running away. The egg pops over on the back line. Boom, he's like he all alone, but he's still alive oh. somehow. They're still managing to do this. Buyback coming out now from Mind Control as they just chalk away over here at Miracle. Chad gets himself a double kill. And now he's trying to find some more kills, some more people to go and slap, as you said, Purge. Although Aramis throwing out that fissure is going to make it a little bit more difficult for him to get over there as they get the lasso back. Oh, this is looking so good now for Enigma as they managed to find the kill on the life stealer. You can't open wounds, approach somebody, wait two seconds, and then use rage. So if you can uh, use the abyssal, the gap close on those supports could be huge. Chad, you need to get out of there, my friend. We oui. a Toby. Toby blink forward here, rather using Rift to go forward. The jump forward again here from the Bears in the middle of everyone. Chad will turn right back around again, gets off a couple of these nice hits. Mind Control separated though here, needs to be a little bit careful. They go, they use the Dream Coil over onto three to hold them into place, get off some of this damage. Leash coming out as they follow up the Fissure, the Echo Slam coming through. Beautifully done here as Miracle now. He's got that BKB going. They've got the Egg. He's going to go down. Shad, he's just going to town over here. And look at the Celery keeping Shad alive. It's going to allow him to go right back in again. Boom's doing so much damage over here. Blood right coming in through. Down goes Miracle as Mind Control is just running the heck out of here. Took that fight. They got the kills. They used the BKBs. Granted, they had to use a lot of the ultimates. Oh my gosh, they're jumping forward immediately. They just want to take down Mind Control, and they'll be able to do it. But they've taken down the Tier 1. They took down the Tier 2, and I'm thinking they're going to be getting this Tier 3, too. Dream oh. Coil gets used. The follow-up here. BKB coming out from the bat rider, but Chad jumps forward. He had that Abyssal Blade to knock them back just a little bit, and they do have to be a bit careful. They don't want to overcommit. The people are coming back up, but I guess Aramis, he wants his kill anyways because he goes in for the Echo Slam, and they will kill Wee and take the tower and walk away. The illusion gave a lot of value on the side of Viking there. Another one to send in as well. Orb coming through. Get a little bit of vision. I think that Miracle's in the pit. Sunray is going to come out. Boom. Jumping forward here. Has the BKB. Is going to make plays over onto Miracle, but over on the back line. Surprise! Guess who's here? It's Shad and the Puck. And they're going to get the Dream Coil off. Miracle. Oh, he gets smashed up. They're tunking away over here at the fair. They have to be careful, though. He does have the cheese. Egg goes off on the back line. They have that Sunray. Keeping him alive just a little bit longer. Kuro buying back right now. The split, though, over here. Over onto Miracle. Shad chasing down Mind Control. Sports to get out that BKB, but he's immediately going to turn right back around again as he's gonna try to finish off this bear and he's just doing so much damage for down he goes. Mind Control 2 is not looking good. He's also going to fall. As both of them are down. Boom is just hightailing it over here after Kuro. He's looking for him. Ring around the rosy. And eventually, he is going to probably burn to death. Is he going to be able to make it out? No. Boom says, come back here. I'm not done with you yet. And force him in a bad spot. So they're just going to hit tier force and force some buybacks here. Perch, there's no buyback on the spare, though. There's no. All right. They do have it now. <laughs> I don't know, Thanks, you do Perch. not know that he was two gold away. <laughs> Thanks, Perch. All right. Cool. But uh, yeah, the damage is coming out over here onto the bottom area. Tower is going to go down. The blink forward. Garamis was looking for that opening here. BKB, though, holding the Wii into place. The Abyssal Blade comes out. Celery will find the kill. So they go right back here over to the tower. They do have buyback on this Pat Rider, but he does keep going forward. Creeps Probably around, though. Bottom lane, they'll go. They'll find Miracle. They'll follow up with the Fissure. Look it over on the back lines. Look at the damage coming up. They just rip apart Kuroki. And the damage again. Miracle trying to get off some of these bear swipes. It's not looking good, though, because Shaddy just dishes out too much damage. The split comes out again here from Boom, and they're just chopping away here over at this poor bear. Miracle forced to use the ulti to run out. There's going to be a drag back, though. They'll find Boom. Oh, nicely done, though, by Celery. He immediately throws out the False Promise, purges it off. Rupture coming out. The egg has gone off, but they were too far away here. As oh, you can see, Toby blinking forward. Shout on the back lines. He takes down Mind Control. And look at Nygma. They have to run away. And the bird's able to fly out. But Shad, they're still hunting. They should be able to go for this kill. The force comes forward. The Echo Slam even came out. Didn't quite connect here. 
Chad considering going right back in again. He needs to be careful. He's taking a lot of damage here from Miracle, but again, he has an Aegis. He doesn't seem to care. He's just going to turn right back around, start slapping away. The Ethereal comes out. The pop again coming out. West, he goes for the infest. With boom, the force is back in. Nigma, they have to just hide in the base right now. He's thinking about going out again, but look at this. How do you go after them? How do you deal with this? They still have not been able to burn the Aegis over on this life stealer. The swoop coming out from GH, trying to draw some of the creeps back, but you've got all these Cardis and all these range creeps. Turn their attention again over to the top tower. It's still standing. Weeha trying frantically whatever he can do. As you can see, some of those spirits being tossed out, trying to slow down Chad from just hitting these buildings. Puck will back off. Miracle coming forward again, gets the jump off over on the side. Can they, they can't do it because of the Ethereal coming out yet again. Toby does finally fall. And it looks like it's Shad versus a Miracle. GH trying everything that he can, but Shad, he's just chasing after him. They need just a little bit more damage and they don't have the detection. Kuro running for his life. There's a lasso getting pulled out here by Wii, but Kuro will go down and now Miracle trying to bear hop away. He has to pop the BKB to get back into his own fountain. Miracle again jumping forward. He's not ready to give up. Shad though says, don't you dare touch him. Weeha flying away on his crow. Wii's obviously a great choice. Mind control, they don't seem too concerned about that. Looks like it is going to be Wii, though. So look at the stun up. Let's the Dream Coil jump over onto the back lines. So they've got this totally split off. The BKB popped over here on Wii. Chad having a little bit of damage, but he's inside the bear. And he's ripping him apart from inside. Now just try to run away. They have the false promise over here on the Lashrek as Chad just going to town over here. Miracle needs to be careful, though. Kuro is still up. So that is going to be the Aegis that goes down. But mind control will fall here. Buyback now from the Bloodseeker. It's go time as they go right back in with the fish. Big ol' split earth going on on the side. Chad just going to town over here on Miracle. His force pop the BKB. He turns right back around. Mind control can't afford to go down here. They've already lost GH. Snap comes out. Fissure comes through. They get the kill on the bear. Die back now from Wii. And they don't want to... Well, oh, never mind. They say, all right, that's enough. GG. Viking showing up for this game number one. Viking could win game one with the Life Stealer. What do you think is uh, going to happen this game? The rotation over here from the side. Nice dodge away here from Wii. Aramis is here, though. The Fissure comes out. The EMP connecting, but they don't have protection right here as Kuro's making his way over. The body blocks are coming out from Weeha because they'd like to try to turn this around, get themselves a kill. The Waning Rift comes out. Not quite enough here to get that kill, but Aramis will go down. Ooh. Kuro holding this uh, Invoker in place over here for a little bit longer. So he's going to have to run all the way back, but the wave's not quite pushed in. Steal. Uh-oh, GH, Spurf, stunned up, no mana, does have just enough to be able to run away over to Celery, who throws down the Simder Brew, and gets the kill. The follow-up coming up, though, from Wii. Look at the silence off over here on move. They've already used the dust as well, so go. They'll grab him up here in the cogs, trying to find the safe. Nicely oh. done here from the life stealing. Gives him just enough HP. Ghost Rock comes out. Doesn't matter. He still is going to go down, but Kuro also to fall. So over on the side, Miracle Man fighting as much as he can. Down goes Celery. And now Aram is trying to run away. Miracle says, come back here. He'll take another kill. Thank you. No more experiences coming to Viking. Their Brewmaster just picks up six and oh. finally get in this game. Like, they have to do so much to win this. Uh-oh, Aramis. He's going to try to run away. They go in, they use the exorcism. We has facing off over on the side. They're not paying attention, though, as the Bruce split does get committed. They've got their eyes over onto Miracle. Kuro trying to buy a oh. little bit more time. Miracle, he's sitting so very low. They don't have the final hit. He does have a little bit of that earn charge on him. It's not going to be enough, though. Mind control over on the side. Oh, there it is. He manages to land it. Down he goes. And over on the side, they'll turn their attention now to Kuro. the damage on Viking is very, like, mobile-based. So, like, it's not like he can just ulti and fight to the death or something like that. Getting that kill was huge. Was now, you're still getting stomped, though, but they'll get closer. Well, they get a wee proving why he's so scary on this puck. He just gets a solo kill. He's just very good at these, like, constant engagement. Uh, good player. Like heroes. Toby, I'm not even sure what... What happened down there? But down he goes. We is just poking away, prodding. Aramis is caught up over here in the cause of battery assault. Makes it so he can't do anything here. They'll turn their attention back around to Kuro. We has also here, though, with that waning rift. The silence comes out. Oh, no, this invoker is already died. This nice save, though, from Shad. They turn back around, but this egg, they need to be so careful. It's got the alacrity. They can just take down GH, but boom, also to fall now. Kuro chasing over into the tree lines. He is going to get taken out as we. It's got to be slippery here, and he should be able to just duck away no problem. So we's absolutely fine. So they can't defend. But so him removing that was uh, pretty. Top tower. So see, there's here. a fissure. All right, they'll open up. The fast oh. bomb comes out, but it's off the mark. 
Followed oh, no. up with the Dream Coil over onto three. This is looking really nice. The hookshot comes in. Kuro, mind control. There it is. There's the black hole. They're going to be able to go and drag in Aramis. And it's looking like Toby's not going to be long for this world as down he goes. Beautifully done. Celery getting the split off, of course. But what is he going to do? He's just going to become more cannon fodder over here. Miracle having a good time being a monkey. Jumps down over onto Celery. The follow up follow with the kill from Oi. And just oh, yeah. look how Nygma's sitting constantly. They're sitting in all lanes, by trees, Ooh. waiting for opportunities. Dream Coil got used again over here on Boom. Use the dust. Hookshot doesn't quite connect. Shad. Oh, there's an Echo Slam on the back lines. Can they clean them up fast enough? That was the question. Yes, GH will go down. Kuro next to fall. But there's a lot of damage over here on the ground as Boom also falls. Aramis will be next. And now Shad forced to run away. Weeha over on the low ground. He's ready to go right back in at any moment. He has finished up that Witchblade as well. we has got to feel pretty good about that, right? The fact he just ran so far, so fast. Toby, though, the hook shot comes out from Kuro. That is one dead witch. 3, 6, and 17. He's been targeting Toby a lot. He has indeed. It's been very difficult for the Death Prophet to do much of anything. They managed to go. They've got so much damage on Boom, and he still is God. just going to fall as Miracle leaping now into the base. Certainly not with two heroes dead. They don't have Echo Slam until now, uh, so they have an option, but they're not going to get that clumped up. Look at the positioning. Miracle's going to sit way in the front. He's got BKB to protect himself. Nobody else is going to be close to him. And he'll just take everything. You see those opportunities. They're probably thinking about ulting. Uh, All right, they're going Toby, in. I have the vision, though. The egg comes through. They're going to be able to separate the spice just so nicely as the egg coming out from GH should be allowed to go off. Celery trapped over in the cogs. This Death Prophet, she was slipping for quite a while. Celery's just ticking down. Down it goes. Buyback now from the Death Prophet. They want to try to go in for this fight over here on the side. You can see the Earthshaker trying everything he can just to hold them down, but there's too much damage coming out. Miracle getting the kill, jumping over onto the trees, just hunting Boom relentlessly. Nice deafening blast buys him just a little bit more time. He's trying to just more space here for Shad. Boom, it's not looking super great for him. There's just too much damage. It's a triple kill down for Miracle and Shad. Oh no, it's not looking good for this guy at all. Do they go? Yes, they commit oh. the black hole. They're like, you're going nowhere. GG gets called Viking. They have had enough and Nygma shows up. They can certainly set really good tempo. Razor's going to probably slow down the Monkey King farm a little bit. The battle begins. Celery is going to take a lot of harass here. Battery assault coming out from GH, slowing him down just a little bit. These body blocks, though, they are on point, and that's your first blood going to Miracle. And you're going to slap the tower every five seconds. So if they rotate that exact moment and kill him, no tower pressure, slows down your enemy team's game, and now they have an Enigma or a Dragonite in the mid lane that just isn't going to be as good as your puck. So. Big kill by Shad, at least, on the opposite side of the map. Oh, but they also managed to find a kill on Miracle here on the top lane. On the tower with this arcane ring. Yep, Puck opening up here. Sees the dragon. I need to be careful. Hookshot coming in over on the back lines here. Mind control, though, is getting hit over on the back. Celery will go down, but maybe not the positioning that they necessarily wanted on the side of Nygma. They do have to be careful, though. Shad is going to get spotted out. Jump forward, followed up with the TP from Kuro. He's just trapped over here by the trees. Mind control coming over as fast as he can. Shad trying to run the battery assault goes down here. Toby joining into the fight. Needs to be careful though. Again, there is the threat of the black hole. The go, they'll throw out the trees, trying to buy a little bit more time. Mind control trying to get in this position here. Goes over onto the side oh. and immediately gets canceled. Followed up with the echo slam. Mind control goes down. Kuro is now forced to flee. Boom over on the side as we try to take off this silence. It just lasts for so long. The ink spell comes out. Down goes we. Hook shot in, waiting for the counter initiation. The sun up immediately, plus the soul blind and the silence. There it is, a beautiful echo slam with the follow up here with Miracle. But look at this damage coming out. Weeha gets himself a double because he takes out Aramis and boom. Now mind control also falling. Celery trying to run away. They are a call. In comes Toby. We'll go right back in. Has the drain. They do need to be careful though as they use the dream coil. They'll hold him into place. Rest the side Enigma chasing. Nice stroke of fate. We'll slow down at least three of them. Followed up with Plasma. Now Toby, he's able to just run away here. Miracle doesn't want to give up the chase just yet, but they go pretty far after him. If you're just a little, you break the tether and you get out of there. 
Mm, hook shot in. They'll find themselves Celeries. He's going to try to use that Ink Swell, try to get them stunned up, and he does manage to kill and connect it because he'll go down, but GH also to fall. And now they'll also collect themselves a Miracle. Mind Control is working on his own BKB as well because they have nothing really to cancel it out. GH needs to be a bit careful here. Boom spots him, followed up with the Ink Swell, the Fissure. Everything's coming out over here on this poor little clock. Down he goes. And that's this more pressure. This combo is just so good. It is, yeah. Oh? That's what's so cool. Miracle? Mi Miracle? Monkey? Oh, man. He did not expect Wraith King to react. Oh, but they yeah. do get the black hole, though, over on the other end here. They managed to get the kill on Toby. Boom, he's just so tanky, though. They don't have enough damage back. They turn this back around. They get the kill over on Weeha. It's pretty difficult, though, but sometimes, you know, it's the best you can help. Oh, they need to be careful. Miracle? No, he's there. Look at Shad. He just doesn't care. Hook shot comes through. Fisher follow up here from Aramis. Throwing it down again. And there it is. There's the Echo Slam onto three. They turn right back around. They get the kill on GH. This is looking like a dead miracle. Boom. Joining in the fight. The silence comes out. Aramis does fall. And it looks like the puck will be allowed to walk away. With a hook shot, just a little bit off the mark. They have to be careful. Boom might be falling for this bait. He's going pretty deep. He sees Kuro. He wants this kill. Oh, look so at the smoke, though. Ever. Look at the way they're collapsing. Toby slowing them down. Wants to help them get Kuro here as Miracle standing up in the trees. He's not sure if he wants to full commit to this. And they managed to take down Wee over on the side while this is going on. Jump forward again here from Boom. He's got his eyes on this little clockwork. GH, he's trying. He's climbing. He's praying that maybe he can get out, but the big crits come out. Shad the Chad cleaning up as they go right for the tower. Miracle, they know he's there. They're out of Fissure. Managed to stun him. They, they don't care, though. They're like, there are buildings to be hit. Although they do dive a little bit. They see mine control. They're like, yeah, no black holes. Uh-uh. I don't want to see that here. Wee's going to buy back. Miracle's still hanging out in the trees. He just can't figure out what to do here, how to do it. The silence comes out. There's the BKB coming out from Miracle. He winds up in mind control. He's bought back. They managed to go and get the black hole off. And they just drag. They don't have enough damage, though. Boom, he's still alive. He's still going to be able to walk away. He turns back around. They do find managed to get the kill on him. Aramis now needs to be carefully silenced up. There's that Wrath of Nature does a lot of damage here. Chad the, over on the back lines. The follow-up Echo Slam comes off and he's still gonna go down but he's able to get it off just in time here as just people are crumbling. Down goes Miracle. Big old crits coming out against Mind Control. Kuro is forced to just run away. The thorn in their side. Oh, they're smoked up. Oh, they have the vision. They're going to see it. They They're know. looking to jump forward immediately over on the side, followed up with the fissure. Hookshot comes through. It's not going to matter, though. Oh, but they managed to go. Oh, they jump immediately over to the Enigma. He's not going to be able to get this up. Although the Wraith King is going to go down over on the side, though. All right, there's the black hole. But the rest of the team, they go and they should be able to clean up on the sides. They get the kill on GH. Celery also to fall, but Shad just chasing them down one by one here. And just getting picked up now from the Grim Stroke. They'll turn back around. The fissure holding them into place. Can they kill them off? The Echo Slam goes off. Miracle is down. No buyback on this Monkey King as they find a kill on the back lines. They have so much stun on the Viking side. Hi, Weeha. What you doing? Hook shot coming in from GH. They're trying to get the kill over onto the Razor. They're not going to be able to quite find it just yet. Four staffs are coming forward. Aramis, he's cut off from the rest of the team. Yules is going to come out. They get the soul bind off. Boom, though, taking his target, finding himself mind control. Aramis goes down. Boom, he's very tanky. He's got the cheese still if he needs to go and use it. He's taking a lot of harass. The buyback coming out now. He turns around. He's got the BKB. He decides, all right, I've had enough. I'm going to leave. So out he goes. And now it's not looking super great here for Celery. It's but Aramis is also here. They he turns back around. Can they buy enough time here for Celery to get out? No, he is going to go down. Sense, but it's fine. Oh, it the jump forward over onto the puck. Are they going to be able to just wipe out Weeha? Yes, they are. Down he goes. And they're on the hunt now, turning around. They've got their eyes over here onto GA. Chad just chipping away at him down. He will fall. Miracle getting off the Wukong's man. Chad trying to get out here. He is treated up. He's taking a lot of damage. He does have the reincarnation up, though, as they manage to take down the buildings. Eyes on the prize right now. Hold up with another pitcher. Echo Slam comes out over onto two of them as we end Miracle. Fall, as does Kuroki. The buybacks are coming out. The tips are coming out as well. Take a knee, peasant, indeed. Viking are just ripping apart the landscape. They are conquering. Maybe they, they, they just can't. They can't find the opening. Their delta splitting out. The fissure comes out. They just hold them into place. This is... Oh, the black hole coming out, though. Is, are they going to have enough damage? It's not looking like they're going to be able to do it enough. Kuro staying alive just long enough. No, there it goes down. They go Viking. Where did the ancient go? 
<laughs> they couldn't spot it. They sprouted it, you know? It's yeah, yeah. Like, still, right? That's a joke. You get it. Yeah. 